Welcome to Pierre Maynard's Gourmet Cooking with Maynard and Melvin. Meet our special guest, Melvin McHuge. Huge! Hi, I'm Melvin McHuge. Huge! <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by Heinous Technologies. Pick Heinous for all your kitchen appliances, stoves, microwaves, refrigerators, anything you need. Heinous is anus with a H. Today, I'm going to show you a slew of new beverages. If you're ever feeling cold on the outside, the first drink is going to keep you warm on the inside. All you need is your favorite beer, The Beast, and a plethora of fruit. Before we get back to Maynard and his beverage, today I'll be showing you how to make cat loaf with snowballs. Follow me. So right now our eggs are boiling for our all organic cat loaf. But for our next ingredients, you gotta ask yourself, can they float? I'm Melvin McHuge. Huge! So for my high temperature fruit beer, you need a lot of that fruit. Here I have the pineapple, the lemon, the apple, the banana, and in the pocket of secrets, I've got the mango for the man on the go. But first, to get started, you need to mash up your fruit real good. Now the trick with the fruit beer is that it regulates your blood pressure to increase your core temperature by about 60 to 80 degrees. Now some people are alarmed by this detail, so I'll show you the primer drink that you have to have before consuming the fruit beer. All you need is a cold glass of water and a small amount of Parmesan cheese. Just dump that Parmesan cheese in there. And then this is, this is the perfect primer before consuming the fruit beer. And it is awful. All right, continuing with the fruit beer, I'm gonna take the mashed fruit and I'm gonna insert that into the bottom of the cup. Let's get as much of that in there as possible. Next, we're going to take my favorite drink from Thailand, Foco Coconut Juice, Juego de Coco, and we're going to pop this open and just drop the whole glass in there. Top it off with that fruity drink while that's down in. We're going to pop open the Beast, and that will be the final segment to our lovely little cocktail. Mm-hmm. So this is going to keep me warm during the cold seasons. Now with drinking this fruit beer, things are really going to start to heat up. <sighs> Melvin McHugh here again. Huge! Ready to make our cat loaf. We got here our one time use heinous mixing bowl. That's heinous. Heinous with a H. Of course, we got our ingredients right here. We got a simple horseradish. We got snowballs to throw on top. Our base, we're gonna be mountain holler, red hull, pop. A little red garnish to go on top, and of course, nature's bounty, cat food. Get that in there, of course, with some hard boiled eggs, and we're ready to make our meal. Okay, I can already feel the effects of the fruit beer. Heat me up from the inside out. Now you can see, over my shoulder, I'm boiling a pot of water for our next dish. But first, I'd like to show you a delicacy. This shot involves half a pour of rum, and then a quick spoonful of low-fat or non-fat cottage cheese. And that'll give you your daily dose of dairy. Slam it, goddammit. Alright, let's make our cat loaf. Got some horseradish here. Just want to put that right in there. Don't even think about it. You're already doing this. Just do it. Next, some of the cat food. Hmm. <laughs> of course, some red howl. Don't have to use all of it. But just put it in there. No regrets. And remember, if they float, right on top there. Candies, a couple of eggs, why not? Just 
Yep. And you know what? I smell biscuits. After that, put some snowballs on top. Sprinkle it with a little garnish. Why, why not a little garnish there? The best thing about this meal is you can eat it raw. Alright, we're just going to mix this up a little bit. Get all the juices flowing. And we're ready to dine in. Alright. You can actually hear the horseradish sizzling. A little crunchy on the outside, but not that bad. Well, good. Now we make huge. For our next dish, we're gonna be making gourmet mashed potatoes. To the already boiling water, we're gonna add a little milk. For this you can use either regular potatoes, but we're going to speed it up and use instant potatoes. So what makes our dish gourmet is we're going to be adding some garlic powder, some smokehouse maple, and a rarity, the salad supreme mix. That adds the perfect flavor that you need for this dish. Let's get back over to Melvin to finish this off. Now that it's frothing up very well, I'm going to add in the potatoes. That looks delicious. Looks loaded and baked. Let's try out some of these hot, steamy potatoes. Let's get a scoop off the plate there. Before we take a bite, we gotta add some ketchup, some chocolate syrup. Gourmet. Thanks for joining us again on Pierre and Maynard's Gourmet Cooking with Maynard and Melvin. Join us next week where we'll cook up a Jewish dish, the Star Fruit of David.